Do you want to build better habits? And do you want to do so with OmniFocus? If so, you're probably doing it wrong. Let me show you what doesn't work and what does work when it comes to building better habits with OmniFocus. Hi there, my name is Peter Akis and I teach people like you how to be more organized and more productive using apps like OmniFocus. In fact, I have an entire course called Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3 in which you'll learn a simple workflow that you can trust to get stuff done. Now, I often see people trying to use OmniFocus to build better habits, and that's fantastic. Building better habits is really good for you, but there's a right way and a wrong way to go about this. This is a video that's part of my course, Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3, but I'm sharing it here with you as a preview of the course. Enjoy. One of the questions I get most often is, Peter, how can I use OmniFocus to track my habits? It's a good question, but I question the premise of this question. So let me tell you what I mean. Of course, it's fantastic if you want to build a new habit. Um, having healthy habits is a fantastic way of being more productive, being happier, healthier, all kinds of things, right? So I'm a big fan of establishing good habits. In fact, if you've got many bad habits, it can be difficult to actually be productive, to feel organized, feel calm and in control. So I'm a big fan of establishing better habits and OmniFocus can help you do that. But there's a difference between building a new habit and having OmniFocus help you build a new habit on the one hand and tracking your habits on the other hand. So when we talk about tracking habits, a lot of people imagine uh, a habit tracking app where you just say, see this day I did the habit, this day I did it, this day I did not. OmniFocus is not good at that. And let me show you why. So a lot of people, let's, let's use the example that you want to build the habit of meditating. I meditate daily um, quite a bit now these days and it's a super good habit, really great for your productivity, feeling calm, being nicer to people, understanding yourself better. I could go on for a while. Anyway, let's say you want to build the habit of meditating. So one thing you could do is have a task in here that says meditate. And we can go repeat this daily. So let's say I want to repeat this uh, every day. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can give it a next tag or due date, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's give it a due date. Let's say it's due today. Okay. And I've done this. I've done this. Um, creating a meditation task and having this repeat daily. And that was useful. Now, if I check this off, right, what will happen is there'll just be an, a new task that's due tomorrow. So actually what we want to do, of course, is we actually want to defer this until today. Um, and then if I check it off, now there's a new one that's deferred until tomorrow and due tomorrow. And this is a good way to remind yourself that one of your tasks for today is to meditate. Here's the thing, when it comes to habits, a habit by definition is something that we do automatically. So for example, brushing your teeth is a habit. Brushing your teeth is something you do automatically. You do not have a task in your task manager that says brush my teeth. Uh, or at least you better not. <laughs> so that better already be a habit. And with meditation for me, it's become the same way. I will do my meditation. These days I do two sessions a day, 20 minutes a session. Um, you know, I will do that. I don't need a reminder to do it. It just happens because you know it's a habit. Um, habit formation is a very big topic. If you want, you can go check out one of my webinars. The recording is on YouTube. Um, anyway, habit formation is a big topic. I don't wanna get into that. This is not a course about habit formation, but um, this is a nice way to remind yourself that you want to do the thing as you're building the habit. So as you are establishing a new habit, it can be helpful to have the act of the habit as a daily repeating task in your task manager. So in this case, in OmniFocus. But I will say, OmniFocus is not designed to keep track of a streak. So if you, if it's really important to you to see which days you did it and which days you do not, so you can use a planner for that, right? And mark which days you did this new thing that you're trying to establish as a habit, yes or no. Or you can simply write that down in any notes app, or you, you can make your own piece of paper or whatever, right? Um, but OmniFocus is not really good at that. If you do want to have a digital app that does this, check out some of the habit tracking apps. There's plenty of them on your app store. Um, those apps are designed to help you track this. Good habit apps will actually help you establish the habit rather than tracking, because tracking in itself doesn't make you more likely to do it, okay? That's the key point here. So what does make you 
likely to establish a new habit. Creating projects. So I want you to create projects that are supporting your intent of building this new habit. So one thing you might do, for example, if you want to build the habit of meditating every day, you can go create a project. And it says, build the habit of meditating daily. Now we're thinking more practically already. We're thinking, what can we do to make this habit um, a habit so that it's automatic? That's the thing about habits. It's automatic. You don't have to think about it, right? So that's why they don't really belong in your task manager because they're automatic. So what are some of the things you could do? You could choose a time of day to meditate and clear my schedule for that time every day. That's one thing you could do to help you establish the habit. You could say, choose a meditation app that I like. That may make it more likely or probably will make it more likely that you will meditate, right? Um, you could say something like, uh, ask a friend to be an accountability buddy for this new habit. Anyway, this is hard work, right? This is hard work. This is, this is the work. If you want to build a new habit and all you do is create that task that says meditate or whatever your habit is and you repeat that daily, you, there's a good chance you'll fail because that's just often not enough. You want to make the... Um, you want to do things, do tasks, do projects that make it more likely that you will build this as a habit. So again, this is not a course on habit formation. There's a lot to be said about that. But create a project or multiple projects to help you do it. Another thing you could do is, for example, I want to go to a meditation retreat. So that might be another project that I can have. And I, in fact, I have a project like that here. That's something I can actually take action on and going to a meditation retreat, I'm sure will reinforce my meditation habit. So a couple of points here that I want to leave you with. I mean, we covered these just as a summary. OmniFocus is not good at tracking your habits. But then again, tracking your habits doesn't help you actually build habits. So if you want to build a new habit, create supporting projects for it with tasks. And I know this is hard work with tasks that will make it more likely that your habit will stick. It's okay to have a task in OmniFocus like this. That's a repeating task to do the habit. But at some point, when it has become a habit for you, it'll be automatic. You won't need this task anymore. You can safely delete it. Good luck. Hey, I hope you found that useful. If you want to learn more about being more productive and organized with OmniFocus, I highly recommend that you check out, first of all, my free weekly review cheat sheet. And the link to that is in the description below the video. You can just grab that and do better weekly reviews, which is a key component of being more productive. You may also like to enroll in my course, Get Stuff Done with OmniFocus 3, to learn a simple but reliable system that you can trust to get stuff done. As always, let me know what you thought of the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more of this, subscribe. Hey, have a great day.